Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and a lot of people ask to do a day in the life of Mark, and so we're doing one today, and we're starting by taking the kids to school. So it's what, 7.30, we're going to school, and then we're going to work. Kids, what are you doing? Hiding? They have their own YouTube channels. You guys should be telling us about your YouTube channel. No. Brecken, what is it? Ow. Brecken, what's your YouTube? What's your YouTube? I'm going to keep filming. We're not going to school until you tell us. Ah, Brecken RC channel. Kaya, what's yours? Um, I forgot. Kaya's channel. You guys need to make more videos if you want to make money. Just film anything, crazy stuff. Alright, it's going viral. So now we're on the way to the office after dropping the kids off. Uh, take seven, eight minutes to get to work from the school. Maybe seven minutes to get to school from my house. So, live pretty close, that's really nice. I used to live five, seven minutes away from work, and it was actually really annoying. I had to move 10 to 15 minutes away even though it seems like nothing it it adds up every day but um it's still okay it's still close enough for me <laughs> and then yeah we're in the velociraptor and uh it's a fun truck here we are pulling up to the office those are the crazy apartments where all the craziness happens but it's been a little less crazy since they got evicted the tenants who were you know, staying in the dumpster, things like that. <laughs> um, what time is it? 11? No, 7.54. And so we left the house about 7.35 in that range. So we get to office pretty quick. Usually get here quicker when I don't take the kids to school. And um, as I said, we're in the Velociraptor. And, oh, you know, I'm not like the super most amazing cleanest person. I'm taking that stuff to the office, but my papers fell off, of course. One of the reasons I got the Velociraptor was because it has so much room for the kids. And right after I got it, coronavirus shut down the school, so they went back to at-home learning. And then we went back after the year. And then I was in a carpool with the neighbors, and the neighbor's brother was old enough to drive, so then we didn't have to carpool. Still glad I bought the Velociraptor. I think it's a lot of fun. It's pretty cool. But the main reason I bought it to uh, carpool and take the kids to school and have something bigger Hasn't really panned out, but it's still nice. And I used to have an, well, I still have it, an Audi S4 where we're cramming three nine-year-olds into the back seat, and that's why we needed a little more space. So I'll get to my office and usually check hot sheets, which is the MLS system. First thing right away to see if there's any new listings, any houses to buy, and yes, I know. It's usually very messy in here. I didn't clean it up so you guys could see the disaster I usually work with every day, but that's okay. <laughs> and then, yeah. The rest of our office out there. So one of the cool things about my work and my job is we're always doing something different, like every day. So uh, check the hot sheets. I saw one property look kind of interesting. Went through all my email. Then Nikki shows up between 8.10 and 8.20 usually, depending on when she drops her kids off to school. And then we came in here and reviewed our bar plans for the bar we're working on, trying to nail down exactly where we're putting the bar the different equipment we'll need and all of that. And they're going to meet our contractor out there today or tomorrow to go over it with him. And then I need to post on Instagram. So <laughs> I also have uh, Tate who joined our office over there in that office. And she works on Mondays and Fridays here and then from home on other days, helping with Instagram and social media and different stuff. But I'm still posting a lot of it my, on my own and then trying to, uh, um, create some more systems, some more things, so I'm not doing all the work. But so far, it's been working good. She's, if you see the new designs and new stuff on Instagram, that is her, and she's done some amazing stuff on there. And that's my office, again, right there. But right down the hall, something else really cool we did yesterday, or at least I did. So this isn't today's day in the life. It's yesterday's day in the life. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> so I don't know if I will show this video yet before you see this one. But this used to be the office next door, and obviously remodeled it, added a garage door, and now I can have some of my cars in here because I am out of room at home. And this is the 1981 Aston Martin that we just got back from the shop 
uh, two days ago. So I've been at, without this car for eight months and it's one of my favorite cars. It's not super fast, but boy, is it a classy. <laughs> so um, the interior is amazing. And it's, you can smell the car in here. It's kind of cool. Like not like a bad car smell, but a good kind of old leathery smell. So that's pretty neat. And of course the golf simulator that we put in and use once in a while. I think I might have to pull the car out though when we do the golf simulator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 10 o'clock, and it's Tuesday, by the way, if you're wondering what day it is. So, talked to some direct sellers, um, left some messages there, talked to a commercial agent. We're going to go see a commercial property later today, um, respond to a number of different emails. Um, tomorrow, we're going to the foundation house to talk to the foundation company about that, and hopefully getting a counter back on another property that we made an offer on oh, a few days ago, another commercial property. So, We'll see how that goes. We're going to check on a couple of properties, meet a contractor at a new property, and um, go look at that commercial property now. All right, so we're here at this house checking on it, and the carpet guys are here. So we weren't expecting that. And this is a house um, we just painted the exterior on. Why? What is going on with my gimbal? I wanted to include my struggles with oh, my camera because it's a daily struggle <laughs> using my camera and gimbal and I might almost just so go we're back closer. to one of the newer phones that's just as good so we'll see what happens with that obviously we need appliances and some little stuff done but definitely towards the finish line for this house all right we're stopping by another property just to check it out and see how the work is progressing and see what comes up next and a lot of you have been asking for a video of this property I'll probably do a full video of it here um, pretty soon. This is the old restaurant we bought next to the apartments. You can see them out there. And we've done a ton of work in here. So we basically took out the kitchen, took it all the, uh, out all the equipment, and we're just going to rent it as a straight retail space just because it's such a pain to do the whole restaurant thing due to parking and the bathroom situation and the size of the space. So we're going straight retail and we're making progress now. So um, another stop on our journey today then we're going to meet another contractor and i forgot to mention one of our other contractors stopped by this morning um, to talk to us and we have a lot going on a lot of different stuff we do all day long so i prefer it if people don't just randomly stop by our office i'll put it that way <laughs> so we can focus on things and while i'm out and about like nikki's with me and she'll be talking to contractors and looking at stuff and that's time for me to post on instagram or take pictures or do some videos um, things like that. So I am using all of my spare time I have pretty much. I'm not just around twiddling my thumbs or we want to get nearly as much things done as we get done. <laughs> all right, we're at another house. It's 11 o'clock and this appointment is to meet a contractor here um, to see exactly what we need to do here. Um, get them started on the job, trash out, different things. This is our most recent purchase. Uh, we bought this a couple weeks ago. This is one we bought in four days. So uh, we'll walk through this with the contractor, talk about what to do, what not to do, um, go over the scope of work. And then after that, we'll go to lunch. And then after that, we'll be going to the new, not new, a potential <laughs> commercial property purchase uh, after that. All right, so we just had lunch and Nikki and I often have lunch and go over our flips, our plans, all kinds of different things about what we're gonna do. And then on our way to our commercial property we're looking at, we want to stop by our other property that was on the way and check out progress on that. So we did that real quick and that's this property. And now we're going to look at a possible commercial deal. Here's the property we just looked at. It's not a horrible deal, but not a great deal either. It is on a very, very busy road, which is good for commercial but it needs a lot of work. It is really, really rough. So um, now I think we're heading back to the office, unless we think of anything else to stop by on the way back. Well, no, never mind. There might be one other house we need to stop by. But uh, yep, this is how a lot of our days go. And some days we're at the office all day long. So it just really depends on what needs to be done and what we're doing. And I really like that part of the job. We are back in the office. It is almost 2.30. We've been back for a little while. and. Um, we also went by another property I've been forgot to show you, and that's the one I wrote an offer on last week that I'm hoping to hear back on today. I'm hoping to get a counter. So if we get that one, of course, you will see it. It's a very interesting commercial property. And then I got lots of new books. So I'm always stocking up on new books. 
uh, when I run low. And our little bookshelf over here was a little low. I've written nine books. And then we have giveaways. Sometimes people buy um, a set of the autographed books. So uh, it was time to restock and they arrived. So now it's time to check email, check hot sheets, uh, look at the numbers on the commercial property we saw, see if that's a deal or not. And then of course, I'm always randomly checking Instagram and posting stuff on there. Maybe do a TikTok video, uh, all kinds of different stuff <laughs> I'm doing. Uh, download a lot of these pictures from the camera, you know, that I took today uh, onto the computer. So I have space on here, change the batteries out, all of that. So there's all kinds of different stuff that goes on, but I, I like being crazy and having lots of crazy different stuff going on every day. All right, so I'm about to head out of here. Uh, I'm the last one in the office. We really work people to the bone around here. <laughs> it's 445. And um, we do have a, a front desk person too. She comes in from nine to three. But uh, today's Tuesday. So my kids after school go to my sister's house to help her babysit on Tuesday. So I'll go to my sister's house, pick them up. Uh, we might go see my dad um, who actually has late stages Parkinson's and um, has a uh, 24 hour care right now. But we try to see him at least once or twice a week and then go home, have dinner, uh, hang out with Ierly, the 22, 21 month old now, <laughs> and then hang out with the kids, put them to bed. And then uh, I usually end up working out. Someone asked me this if I work out. I usually run at least once or twice a week. I usually run about six to seven miles each time. I lift usually twice a week or once a week, depends, um, once or twice a week. And then I golf usually at least once a week. So I do get out and exercise um, for sure. And then late, late at night, actually, a lot of times I will do some writing, write articles, work on my book for a little bit, an hour or two. And um, that's kind of when I do kind of my creative stuff a lot of times. And then too, at home sometimes, you know, I'll post stuff on Instagram a little bit, reply to comments here and there. So I'm not like completely and totally away from work. But for the most part, I get to the office around eight and leave usually around five or a little bit before five. And I almost never work on the weekends um, unless I'm, like I said, doing a little bit of writing, Instagram stuff, stuff that's fun for me to do. <laughs> it doesn't feel like work. So I better leave and go get my kids. I almost forgot to mention too what I was doing for the last couple hours. <laughs> um, I was analyzing those two deals. So I was looking at um, the commercial deal. I got the counter on. I did get the counter. It was higher than I thought it would be. So I'm not sure if that's a good deal or not. I'm kind of trying to analyze, hey, will this work for me or not? I don't know if it will. And the other one we saw today, I think it's too rough. I think it's just too rough to be a good deal. So I don't think either one of those will end up working. And then um, I got a call from another seller. So talk to him a little bit and then talk to Alex who works with me about blog stuff and online stuff. Talk to Justin who works with me about offers, some different things going on and how's we have listed. So um, lots of different things going on. But for the most part, I get to do the things I like to do and I have other people do the stuff I don't like to do, which works out really well for me and why I have so much time to do content creation, um, social media, look for deals, all of that stuff. All right, off we go. So here's my sister's house. And you might remember this from a video I did a couple months ago. She bought this new house, we did a tour. And I'll probably do a tour here again. Uh, she's still working on it, made a few changes and show you what she did. And also, I've been meaning to say this all day, I'm wearing shorts today. I'm actually wearing my stupid pink red shorts. <laughs> and that's a crazy story where I was at a gas station and someone thought I cut in front of them and the lady came out screaming and cussing at me and told me I was wearing stupid shorts. So these are those shorts. But um, anyway, it's almost 70 degrees out today and we're supposed to get like one to three feet of snow this weekend. It's March 9th right now. So that's Colorado. I <laughs> love Colorado. We'll see if we get that much snow or not. Um, sometimes they say that and we don't, but um, the weather is always changing quite drastically around here. So uh, time to go get my kids. And we're back home, back home. And it's what, 530 or something after getting my kids from a sister's, hanging out with her for a little bit. And I always like to look at these when I get home, <laughs> but excuse all this stuff, trying to jump the Mustang and 
the paper towels hold the hood up because I can't put the hood all the way up because of the lift. So that's why those are there. Um, the Aston Martin appears to have a spot right there, right above the Lambo, but the Lambo doors open up. So I have to have that lift all the way up to even squeeze into the Lambo, like on my back. Um, cause the doors can't open all the way under the lift and the Lambo won't fit on that lift because it's too wide. It's one of the widest cars ever built in the history of the world. So, um, this lift is basically useless. And that's why I might bring one to the office and put it there because I can't use this one um, with the Lambo. It's too wide to go on top and we have to have it up too high for a car to fit on top of it with the Lambo on the bottom. All right. So that's the day time to hang out with the family. I probably won't film much of that part. So, um, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I've had a lot of people request what my day's like. Um, oh, I left my door open. That's good. <laughs> and um, what things, how things happen. Uh, this was a pretty typical day. But like I said, things always change. I'm always doing different things. Sometimes I spend more time in the office. Sometimes I spend like all day gone looking at other properties, especially if we go out kind of farther away to some different properties that aren't as close. Almost everything we saw today was real close to me. All right. Um, appreciate all the likes, comments. Keep those coming. Love hearing from you guys. Um, love to hear more ideas for different videos and love to hear if you liked this type of video or not. I can do more of them. And if you guys watch it and like it, then that encourages me to do more of them as well. All right, we'll be back soon. Take care.